hi guys welcome to gis explorer youtube channel it is best integrated gis channel i am orun gis expert if you first time in our channel then subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get our latest uploaded information about gis today i will discuss you how to create and edit polyline features in QGIS. Not only that, I will show you also activities of the advanced digitizing toolbar. If you like more about QGIS 3.14, then you can check my other's video. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you more about the polyline. Polyline is a feature that, that is defined that at least two point consisting a line. Line features has length information but not area information at a given scale. So guys, it is most important video for digitizing in QGIS. So I think you must be concentrated in this video. So let's go in the learning section of this video. So guys at first open QGIS 3.14 software. Then uh, what we'll do. Just I add a base layer. From here. Google satellite imagery. and find out your interested area so guys that's bit this is interested area Salt Lake City and what we'll do now just click on layer menu create layer new save file layer click on browse button choose your desired location and give a name with a suitable line then save then you have to choose file encoding UTF-8 and geometry type line and projection should be WGS-84 UTM zone 45N and then OK now you have to add attribute table field name here add something called name data type should be text and length you can be changed here then click on add to field list so you can either create the column in the beginning or we can add them after so don't be worry if you have missed something now you have to click on this ok button see here now if you want to change the symbology then click on the line and right click and go to properties and then symbology tab and you can choose from here any style and then apply and then ok first of all we add the features 
using toggle editing tools and click on add line features and go to your desired location and draw the line using the left mouse button and complete the li drawing line features you have to click right click on the features and id input the id one name a and then ok so that's where you will you can create another line So guys what we'll do now now I have to save this features so I have to click on this tool and if you shift your vertex of this line features you have to click on this vertex tool and click on the vertex and then click on the shifting location like see here if you want to add any vertex then click on the features and double click on the features see here for better visual inspection so I check out my background image if you want to delete your vertex just click on the vertex and backspace see here click on backspace button on your keyboard just click and hit on backspace button so guys already I show you in the previous video the functionality of the modify the attribute tools and delete tool and uh, cut copy paste tool and also redo and undo tool functionality and also show you enable advanced digitizing tool and uh, move features tool today I will discuss you rest of the tools functionality this is rotate features tool if you want to rotate any features then you can use it just click on the rotate tool and select any features and click on rotate features and type here rotation degree 90 degree then enter hit button see here 
अब नेक्स्ट टूल इज सिंप्लीफाई फीचर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सिंप्लीफाई ऑफ एनी फीचर्स देन यू कैन यूज इट see here just click on the simplify features tool and click on the features and change the method from here as your requirement and type here the percentage of the offset and then okay if you want to add any part of the features then you have to click on this add part features tool then draw any position on your requirement keep it mind that this is the part of this features so one attribute hold on this features if you add any an another part then digitize that's like if you delete any part then you have to click on this delete part features tool and just click on the part which is you want to delete now i want to show you reset features activity so at first select any features and then click on reset tool reset features tool and click on your requirement reset just click right click at the end see here if you create offset curve of the line features then click on offset curve tool and click on the features which is you want to curve just see here you can split any features using split features tool just click on the split features tool and click and then right click so here you see two features are there you can also split part of the features just you have to click on this split part tool and click that's like you can merge two or more features then you have to click select all features and click on merge selected features and then you have to choose any attribute and click on this tab so and then okay so at last uh, if you merge different type attribute of the features then you have to click select features and click on merge attribute to selected features tool 
then choose any one which want your requirement and click on this tab and then ok see here properties open attribute table see here so guys that's all for you today further you have any query please comment in my comment section i hope that uh, you get mileage in this video so please make sure you like and comment and uh, also subscribe my gis explorer youtube channel and share the video on social media thank you for watching